do people in London need to come see this show? Well, it's profoundly entertaining. It is very inventive, very theatrical, and London loves amazing theatre. And this is a piece of amazing theatre. These nine young men uh, were put in jail and accused of horrific crime that they did not commit. So it is about how one lie can destroy the lives of nine young men. Ken are never known for writing for the underdog. And they're writing for ordinary people in extraordinary situations. So Cantor Neb jumped on this idea, and they wanted to bring these boys back to life. But what became interesting was, who were those boys? Why did they matter? And what, what were the lives that they led? And I think that's what uh, ultimately drew us to the piece, because we knew that we wanted to tell a story where we could show who they were and how they became uh, the, the pawns in this battle, but more importantly, why they mattered. This isn't your typical uh, subject matter for a musical, which makes it so intriguing. And a lot of people don't know about the Scottsboro Boys. I didn't know about the Scottsboro Boys before I did the musical. It's a very uh, nasty part of American history. But because of this musical, we're bringing these boys back to life and we're uh, telling their story in the right way. And I think. The wonderful thing about this show is that people don't walk away from it and not talk about it or think about it. They Google it, they want to learn more, and I think it's so great. You arrive not really knowing what to expect. You don't know what you're getting. You'll laugh, you'll cry, and you'll be thoroughly entertained when you get out, and you'll be, you'll be talking about it for days, I think. We just go to the theatre sometimes to be entertained, and I think this is more than that. Um, this informs you, this educates you, this entertains you, you've got tap numbers, and you will leave feeling something. I think they need to come see it, um, number one, because it's Kander and Ebb's last collaboration. That alone, <laughs> to me, is like a, the best reason to come see it. Fred had the amazing ability to improvise with rhyme and meter in, in the same way I could at a piano, so that we literally uh, wrote together in this little room and we would just go. I don't know how to describe it, there was no method to it, but uh, we would just we just do it. Everyone was so sensitive about this material and um, this mission to tell the story it became less um, of an artistic statement, but we be, I think we all became activists as well. Um, like collectively, for all, so we were all out there, all together as a team, and, um, and putting that across the footlights, and I think that people received it as such. This piece actually began in a theater very much like the Young Vic at the Vineyard, and it's the, it's the atmosphere of working in a theater like that that makes you do your best. It makes everybody zoom in and put their whole selves into it. The one thing we know for a fact about London is that we'll be dealing with a pretty sophisticated theater community mm -hmm. and I think that if we tell the story exactly as we always have, they'll receive it. Yeah.